What's going on YouTube? Gibber White here, representing the movement towards improvement. I am out here at Morgan Run Resort and Country Club. My good old buddy Davis Evans is town for the Junior World Championship. As you can see him messing around in the background. So we're out here playing a few holes, trying to interview him, get some good insight and knowledge. Davis has been playing some really good golf lately, qualifying for a US Junior Am, a Junior World, playing well. Davis, what's cracking? What's up, boss? <laughs> That's nice of you to say. Most people call me retard, dumb, <laughs> or stupid. That's really nice of you to call me boss. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So what's up, man? You over here. What what the age division are you playing Junior World in? The 13-14 division. And what course are we at? Morgan Run. Morgan Run. Golf and Resort. Did I you believe. play in this last year? I did. Okay. How'd you do last year? Let's see, I took around probably 80th, 80th? Okay. out of like 150s, but I was 13. I didn't play that well. Like I've gained a lot of yardage probably in the last six, seven months. Last year this time, I was only driving it in California per around 210, 215 on a good drive. Now I'm driving it easily 250. So, you know, it's, it's all about distance here because with the thick air, and yeah, this we're, year we're right next to the coast yeah it's the ocean sea breeze sea level oh yeah so like i just played a practice round earlier today and you know shot 69 and the the winning score last year was nine under so assuming i do that for the three days i'm right there first well that's what you told me to do you're, you're expecting to win this right yeah i'm playing really good right now i mean nobody in the entire field uh qualified for these amateur except me so you know i definitely did something that no other person did in this entire field. Yeah, that's a, a big accomplishment, man. Congratulations. Thanks. And also, I mean, you said, you know, you're in the ball further, but you were just sharing with me on the green that you were talking about belief and truly believing that you're here to win, you're here to play well. Yeah. Share, like, share with share that. Like, okay, so I played in the, the JGAA State Championship, uh, Junior State Championship, and I just didn't feel comfortable with the course. I, I didn't believe. I was playing for, because top 10 got performance stars for AJGA. I was playing for top 10 not to win. And I didn't play that well. And like over at the Eastern Amateur, I played good in the practice round. You know, I, I felt I could truly believe I, I could do this. And I did, I played well. And I think most people, I think there's two big keys to uh, play good in tournament. You gotta truly believe, not just say you believe you can win, but truly believe you can win a tournament. And you gotta work hard. Because if you work hard and you're staying on that first tee, knowing you work hard, knowing that you, you work harder than everybody else in the tournament, and you deserve to win, that's, that's a very strong feeling you got. Absolutely. And I, I mean, I've seen that with even, you know, other professional golfers, you know, where do you truly think when you show up to a tournament that you're going to be the one on top? And a lot of people don't have that inner belief that, hey, they can go take this tournament from everybody else. Oh yeah, like those guys, those surprise guys you see on the PJ Tour that come out like once a week in a tournament, it's because they felt comfortable with the course, they got to know the course, they believed that they could win this tournament because they're playing good right now. And they, they worked hard to get to this spot and that's why they do good. And also to touch on one other topic, you know, I used to hear Jack Nicklaus say, I heard Jack used to go to a major championship site earlier than anybody else and play more practice rounds. So he would go to, let's say the US Open's at, um, Wingfoot, he would go there earlier than everybody else, play more practice rounds, and because of that, he said he thought he deserved the win because he prepared more, which yeah. is basically what you were just saying. Yeah, it's all about preparation. It's all, you know, the two big things to winning a tournament is believing you can win and, you know, feeling comfortable on the course. You know, knowing that you've worked hard, practice, and preparation for this tournament. Okay, Davis Evans over here at Morgan Run Resort and CC. What hole is this? Uh, hole one on the south course. South course? What are you hitting? What course? Plywood. For strategic purposes? Yes, indeed. All right, let's see you stripe it. That is straight as a string. Good drive. Man, that's nice. This is Gabe with a hybrid. I'm just going to follow Davis's route. Got here 115. What's the wind doing? It's pretty mellow right now, huh? Yeah, no, not a lot of wind. Did you get a new bag? I did. 
Wait, did you get all new clubs from our last What's in the Bag? Yeah. Dude, we have to know their What's in the Bag. Kids love that. All right. But let's see you hit this shot first. 153, you said? 115. Oh, 115. What do you thought? Pitching wedge. Straight ball? Yeah. Back off, regroup, go through the sh go through the pre-shot routine again. Dude, that scared me so bad. Did it? I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That's the problems of having a cart bag. <laughs> oh, go in. Oh, folks, that's like. Good shot. The Andy Walker. 110. All right, this is uh, 105. I told Gabe to play 110. Got a little wind into us from the right slightly. Gonna hit a nice easy gap wedge. Ten bucks you chunk it. Ten bucks like pure in your face, homo. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Okay. There's Davis's shot, his divot, about pretty good shot, eight, nine feet. And mine landed back there spun back about six feet I got about ten feet or so let's, get, let's step it off one so six feet yeah a little longer than that I'd six, say seven yeah seven feet David says he wants to putt first and put the pressure on me let's see let's see what we're looking at downhill left rider yeah. ocean is that away yeah so break as much. As Greens don't look that fast either, huh? They were actually faster this morning, but with the poana growing. Yeah, so it's probably not going to break as much with that as well. Yeah. Didn't break at all, man. Pulled that just slightly, too. Mm. Yeah, had a feeling it might do that. Alright, tab and par. What do we got here? Downhill um, right to left. Down here, right side, probably about, I'd say 12, 15 feet, a little less. Folks. I oh, broke quite a bit, huh? Yeah, I did. Look at that thing. A little tap in for Gabe here. Par, par. First hole, not bad. Par, par, no blood. Okay, Davis, share with what you were just saying back there as we were walking up to the green. On how you liked playing with older players? Yeah, well, the, I was I'm 14 and I play in the 13-14 division, and the competition is better in the 15-18. So I moved up to the 15-18, playing better competition, and for me at least, I play better when there's better competition. And I think from what I've talked to people about, they they play better with better competition. And I've reached the top of my uh, age division, and you just want to keep pushing yourself. You want to keep playing with older players. Because the, the guys you see on the, the PGA Tour, they are, you know, they are, when they were 13, 14, they were winning stuff with the 15, 18, you know. So you need to just keep pushing yourself and trying to reach that top goal in the older division. That's, yeah. <laughs> Cut it off. That's all, that's all I got to say, man. Perfect. Thanks, dude. All right, don't put like the, yeah, uh, take that. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> I'll put whatever I want, and this is my video. All right, let's see who striped this thing. All right. All right, man. Did you get the yardage? Yeah, I got it earlier. It was like 207. Well, this is okay. So 207. We got a bunker right in front of the pin. Are you going to go right at it or yeah. play to the right of it? Earlier it was wet and it was into the wind. Now it's tailwind. So I'm going to. So you're going to take a little less club? Yeah, tailwind. It's less. Wait, it's... Do you, what's the carry yardage to carry that bunker? like one I shot it this morning it was like 170 something so with that club you think a normal swing will be easily carry that bunker yeah I already carried this thing here probably about 185 okay uh, the 190 rolls out 195 but tailwind go 200 and I'm just gonna aim the center side or this because pins left and you want to miss left yeah so I'm just gonna end center and I'm gonna swing a little harder knowing that my miss is left so if I hit it good if I, if I swing a little harder and it's straight I'm perfect it goes left, I'm right at the pin, you know. Perfect. So. Good ball there. On the green. Kind of blocks it here a little bit. 
So now if you hit that shot in the tournament, uh, do you try to make any adjustments throughout the round or is that just kind of like, you know, hit the green, let's go two up there and two putt and get out of there? It really depends on the hole. Okay. Like there's a few short holes where you want to, like let's say you're two, three over, you're kind of a little off. You know, you want to start making some birdies. The last thing you want to do is press. So, I mean, you know, you don't want to like start pressing and changing your swing. Now, if it's like way off, you know, you're like five, six over, then you obviously need to make some adjustments. But I mean, if you're even one over, just try to repeat stuff and try to figure out where the ball is going. Because your target wasn't at the pin, so that was actually a pretty good shot. I mean, you blocked it, but just a little bit compared yeah. to where your target's at. Yeah, but that's fine. The, the greens are in that good condition. And I'm just trying to figure out, it's a practice round, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what clubs to hit, what yardage you're going, you know, what carry distance. Okay, you guys, I got 207 to the pin. I'm saying it's downwind about seven yards, so 200 air is kind of thick. So I'm just going to hit a full solid four ski. All right, good shot. Pin high. 